how there's quite a lot of Lesotho that's got lovely tar roads now, which kind of takes a bit of the adventure out of it, but whatever. You know, it's still quite nice to drive on a nice tar road because you can still see these unbelievable mountain sceneries. It's, it's, I, I don't even know what to say. So one of the nice um, epic passes in Lesotho is Monomang Pass. So we've just left Mardamong Lodge and we're probably two hours away from Sani Pass and this is one of the passes that we come up and this is just when we get up top here it's just over 3,000 meters and it's just mountain after mountain after mountain after mountain the mountain kingdom of Lesotho unbelievable and all these white vehicles following the Greenlandy. Let me uh, pan around here when, you, when they all come up. Look, look at those, <laughs> that, this, is, this mountain kingdom of Lesotho, you should all come, seriously. <laughs> so, Wool and uh, Angora wool is a huge industry in Lesotho and we are lucky enough to be seeing them doing some and it's all by hand with garden shears. I reckon your hands must be must be pretty strong. What a lovely peaceful place to live. Clean and tidy and remote, quiet. Lesotho. So we're here at the junction looking at uh, the Orange River flowing down there and we're going to have some Lusutu Makwenyas, flat cook in English or Afrikaans. Just like that. Hey, have a bite, what do you reckon? <laughs> mm. And they're one rand each, can you believe it? Hey? 